the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 218, Jeremiah 49-50 Prophecy of the Ten Surrounding Countries In the declaration of judgment against many countries such as Ammon, Edom, Tima, Damascus, etc. contained God's concern and love for all nations. First point, God declared judgment on Ammon through Jeremiah. Ammon, together with Moab, were the descendants of Lot, and were therefore brotherhood nations of Abraham's descendants. Thus, when the Israelites entered the land of Canaan, God protected Moab alongside the Israelites. However, Ammon and Moab became Israel's enemy nation. And Ammon's Malcolm idol had an influence on Israel. Malcolm was also reported to as Molech. As seen in 1 and 2 Kings, Amos, and Isaiah, the idol Malcolm spread during the days of Solomon when multiple altars were built. South Judah's kings Ahaz and Manasseh also made an offering to this idol, as did some of the people of South Judah. God had warned about this idol as far back as Leviticus. Do not give any of your children to be sacrificed to Molech, for you must not profane the name of your God, I am the Lord. Like this, God warned judgment on Ammon. Continuing from judgment on Ammon, God once again spoke about the return of the Ammon captives from Babylon. God's words became fulfilled during the rule of Cyrus II of the Persian Empire. Second point, God declared the judgment on Edom through Jeremiah. God spoke about Edom's judgment through Amos. Although the Edomites were the descendants of Esau and therefore a brother nation to Israel, they attacked and did evil to Israel since the days of Exodus, and lived as enemies with each other all throughout. When Moses asked to pass through the land of the Edom king, he rejected. Edom continuously attacked Israel, and when Babylon tried to conquer South Judah, Edom helped Babylon. Thus, when the people of South Judah cried by the rivers of Babylon, they asked God for vengeance towards Edom. Edom was arrogant as they thought that their geographical location protected them from all attack. What they failed to see was that they could not escape God's judgment. God declared the complete fall of Edom through Obadiah. Third point, God declared the judgment on Damascus, Kida, Hazor, and Elam through Jeremiah. After declaring judgment on Egypt, Moab, Ammon, and Edom, God went on to declare judgment on the other surrounding countries of South Judah. South Judah was able to see that God indeed managed and governed the world. God declared judgment on Damascus. Damascus was the capital of Aram. Aram had also played a role in attacking South Judah and so they were also to fall in the hands of Babylon. God continued to declare judgment on Kida and Hajar. Kida and Hajar were part of Arabia. Next, God spoke about Elam. Elam was established by the firstborn of Shem and being located in the east side of Babylon. They were constantly involved in war and they became conquered by Assyria. But when Assyria fell in the hands of Babylon, they made an alliance with Mede and resisted Babylon. Despite all this, Elam could not avoid God's judgment. Ezekiel declared that Elam was a brutal nation. God declared the fall of Elam, but then spoke of their restoration. Fourth point, God once again declared the fall of Babylon through Jeremiah. Now God told Jeremiah about the fall of Babylon who dominated all its surrounding countries. 
In Jeremiah chapters 50 and 51, God's declaration of the fall of Babylon was made, and then the next word is all about the restoration of South Judah. God made a covenant with Israel, and he hoped that they would become his holy citizens in a kingdom of priests. But Israel did not take their mission seriously. God hoped for the day when there would be an everlasting covenant between them. As for Babylon, after 70 years as the dominant empire, they collapsed in 539 BC. The next empire to emerge was the Persian Empire. God declared judgment on Babylon. God proclaimed that Persia would be used as his next tool to strike down Babylon. No empire can last forever. However, God's plan for salvation is everlasting. Fifth point, God spoke once again of Israel's restoration. After declaring the fall of Babylon, God told Jeremiah about the restoration of South Judah. Israel is a scattered flock that lions have chased away. The first to devour them was the king of Assyria. The last to crush their bones was Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. Therefore, this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. I will punish the king of Babylon and his land as I punished the king of Assyria. But I will bring Israel back to their own pasture, and they will graze on Carmel and Bashan. Their appetite will be satisfied on the hills of Ephraim and Gilead. In those days, at that time, declares the Lord, such will be made for Israel's guilt, but there will be none, and for the sins of Judah, but none will be found, for I will forgive the remnant I spare. Those Israel fell in the hands of Assyria, and South Judah fell in the hands of Babylon. But after all judgment was carried out, God was to help his lambs return to him and to make them into holy citizens in a kingdom of priests. God emphasized that the people of South Judah would return after the 70 years as good facts. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.